Welcome to day 24 of Once Upon a December. It's Christmas Eve, but more importantly, it's the last day of work for 2020. I actually ended up waking up almost one and a half hours earlier than normal, which is quite a lot, especially for a work day because I was just excited that today was the last day of work. And it's generally pretty quiet because half the team has already taken off. Um, they've uh, taken today off as annual leave, so there's not a lot of meetings going on. I actually don't really have that many. And so I'm able to use the time to just kind of wrap up a few last minute things before I go and leave. And I think most companies, mine for sure, but pretty much um, from what I've seen is most companies wrap up early on Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve. And so I know Tobias's place is going to be wrapping up, but he hasn't been told what time yet. They tell him on the day, whereas we were told like way earlier um, at the start of the week. So hopefully the times align and uh, then we can go and do some grocery shopping because uh, tomorrow is Christmas Day, which is Friday, which is usually the day we go grocery shopping, but everything will be closed. Um, except maybe the Asian grocers are probably still going to be open. I find that most like... Asian grocers, uh, restaurants, cafes tend to stay open because they don't really recognize Christmas as a public holiday. Um, I know that when Tobias and I were in Japan over Christmas, all the shops were still open just like normal, but they were closed on New Year's Day instead. So I know that a lot of the shops that I go to will tend to close during Lunar New Year um, for like the sometimes for the whole two weeks, which is a little insane. So yeah, but since we do most of our shopping at like a Woolies or a Colts, um, we have to go today. So if we end early, we should be able to make it. I know most um, shops are actually closing early today. Definitely the Coles and Woolies we go to is going to be closing a little earlier. So hopefully there'll be enough time. And I need to go to Officeworks as well because I want to get some more storage boxes to keep sorting through all the planners and stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, and one other thing I forgot to mention. So yesterday when I opened the Coffee Monster Co. Advent Calendar, um, luckily I didn't just throw the envelope out. I actually started opening up the envelope because I wanted to, I was cutting out parts of the pictures that were, that weren't ripped or anything so I could stick them into my planner. And I realized I forgot to mention this little guy, the little, um, like a pendant or something. But yeah, that was in the envelope as well. So there were two items yesterday, which is really nice. Um, so I just wanted to include that before I forgot. Um, and that is pretty much my morning. I don't know if you can see, but we have a bunch of Pokemon Nano Blocks all sitting on this shelf. These guys used to sit in front of our television, but we're keeping that clear, potentially moving that television. So we thought these guys don't move very easy. We were thinking t potentially moving these like upstairs to what was going to eventually be our library area, but honestly, these guys are such a pain to move because they're so fragile. So, oh yeah. Sorry, that's one of my cats. But yeah, we moved all of those. Took a while because we broke a few as we went, and Toby's had to like Google to know what they looked like when they weren't broken. Because I threw, I've thrown all the manuals away. I didn't want to keep them. Um, it would just felt kind of pointless once I made them I thought that's all I need so yeah I don't know if I'm going to move them again because it was quite an effort to move them off the um, television console but um yeah so I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while I said that I was actually going to vlog going to the groceries and stuff like that and uh we didn't actually end up vlogging any of it because it was so crowded it was insane I, I just like I guess it's because everything is closing early today, being Christmas Eve, so everyone and their mum was out buying food and lots of like party utensils. I mean, it's really nice, um, but it does make you feel a little nervous to be in an area where there's so many people. I don't think I've seen that many people around me in, well, since February, so yeah. But we got all the groceries done. We're going to cook family dinner on Saturday night. So we've got all the ingredients for that too. I'm really excited for that because we've got so many sides. I love sides. So many different sides we're going to make. Um, so I'll definitely show you guys that. Um, and then we didn't do much else. Oh yeah, I went to Officeworks, got more boxes. So I'm going to spend more of tonight setting all that up. We're just going to get some dinner. We're ordering some takeout because we fancy like that. <laughs> Tobias wanted pizza, so that's what we're having. And then, yeah, we might put on some movies as I 
declutter. Okay, we just finished dinner and we thought we would finally finish opening up our advent calendar <laughs> since it's the 24th, so yes. it's the last day. So, yes, my guess is that there's three in this one and actually we've only got three left, 22, one. 23 and 24. As long as you get a few golden ones. Yeah. Oh yeah, so one oh. here, number 22, so I can eat this. Just normal. Three. Dark one. Three. Oops, there's a dark one. And it's 24. And now 24. Oh, the big one. Do you want to hold the camera or open or? No, got it. Okay. 24. It's two. Lucky you. Look, it's and Dutch doors. Like, uh, oh. Yeah, and it's I like these two, so we're good. That's we good. Gucci. Well, for me it is more of the same, but I like them, so that's a win. Oh, you saw you twenty four was nothing different. No, twenty four is literally this one. Oh man, I feel like the twenty four needs to be something. Yeah, it's, it's like a big double door, and then you just get. I mean, it's, it's the color is different, but no. it's kind of very much the same as all the others. <laughs> well, those were our advent calendars, our chocolate advent calendars. Uh, not sure. Not. I definitely won't do this one again next year. I liked yours though. Yeah, this this one. I mean, you know exactly what you get in every single one of them. Yeah. So like, I yeah. might try something different. I did the tea one last year. The thing is, I didn't drink all those types of teas, especially mm. ones with licorice or cinnamon. So it was kind of wasteful. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do next year. But yeah. Hey internet, so it's the end of the day, end of Christmas Eve, um, I don't know, I don't feel particularly festive for some reason, um, maybe it's just the way the year ended, maybe it was just the year in general, I have no idea, um, but I feel like at the start of the day I was feeling super happy and I think it was mostly because I knew I could just like ignore work um, for the next two weeks. But um, right now I feel kind of contemplative. I'm not really sure why. I usually watch Carols by Candlelight in the evenings. That's um, for those of you who don't know, and I don't know if it's just a Melbourne thing, but um, it's something that my family used to watch together ever since I was a little kid. And I just haven't really felt like I've wanted to. I think, um, so Carols by Candlelight is basically a bunch of, I assume they're Melbourneian because I think it's in the, um, filmed in the botanical gardens but um just a bunch of singers in uh, melbourne singers choirs stuff like that and they just sing a bunch of christmas carols as the name would suggest and in years past you would have like crowds of people turn up and they would have like their lights um and it was very festive because when i was in school that was something that we did as well we always had carols um christmas carols um i think most schools actually call it carols by candlelight as well so I kind of grew up with that, so it was fun to watch um, that on TV. But I, I just, the last couple of years, just not really felt it. Just don't know why. But yeah, I thought I would wrap up my advent calendars since I finished off the chocolate advent calendars and I've put them in the recycle bin. I figured I would go ahead and finish off the last two calendars I had so that I could, well, the Coffee Monster Co. doesn't have a ton of packaging, but the Charlotte Tilby one has a ton of packaging. I'm really unsure how I'm going to recycle that. So I'm gonna hold on to the box for a while as I um, try and work out because it's kind of like cardboard with some plastic and I'm like, how does this work? And it just feels like a huge amount of waste to just throw it away. But anyways, so the Coffee Monster Co, I kind of got the last two or well, three items. Um, it is more washi tape. As you can see, it is two very Christmassy washi tapes, which I, this makes me happy. And maybe this is my life. This is what makes me happy. So you've got this like a bunch of emotes with this beautiful red foil and then a bunch of like doodles. I'm not really sure. Just like letters, Christmas, just Christmas activities. So you've got those two washi tapes. And then the other item is this little uh, stick on pocket. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic because if I do and it flies around it could accidentally peel off and lose its stickiness but it basically it's just a clear plastic for cards that you can put in and I'm I don't know where I'm going to put it yet but you can put it on the inside of planners and stuff like that. So 
overall love the Coffee Monster Co. Advent Calendar. If she does it again next year for 2021, I am 110% going to be signing up and I'd recommend it for you guys too if you are into stationery and you like her aesthetic and branding because um, I really love it. And then with Charlotte Tilbury, the last two items, so this one is Magic Cream. I think this is just like a standard moisturizer, which I'm actually gonna try using tonight. I'm gonna use the serum I got the other day, well, a, a few weeks ago, I guess. And then I'm gonna use the moisturizer. And then the other item, which was the last one, is a setting spray, which I love setting sprays. Um, every time I do my makeup, I always use a setting spray. So this is gonna be, Mm, it smells so good. It's gonna be really great to use. Uh, it actually looks travel size to me and normally I would say I would save this for when I travel, but when is that gonna happen? I have no idea when that's gonna happen. I would be shocked if in 2021 um, me or anyone I knew that was close to me felt comfortable or was able to travel. Not only would it be incredibly expensive, but it's just so high risk. I've had so many co-workers and people I know who had plans to go up to Sydney or the Northern Beaches for Christmas and all of that's just been cancelled because of what's been happening so I think it's just too erratic for me to make long-term plans for travel so I feel like next year I'm not going to actually book or plan any travel I'm definitely going to take time off but maybe I can do some local trips so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you guys are having an amazing Christmas Eve and Christmas Day because this will go up on Christmas and yeah, this is Selena reporting from my room. Back to internet. Bye.